Hey, what? Uh, can you do a unboxing of this product? What's this? It's uh, it's it's a great new product in there. Well, you've clearly unboxed it. Eh? No, 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 I haven't. Can we bother putting normal tape on or faking a bit? I'm sorry, is we need it? Okay, what's all that? I was a little bit uh, curious, so I, I peeked inside. Please, don't be mad, I'm sorry. What is it? It is a Mac Mini from Apple. Apple Mac Mini? What, like another Intel processor? Woo, get a little computer. No, 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 it is not Intel processor, not anymore. Did, did Apple make a deal with AMD? What's this AMD? 5000 series inside? No, 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 yet. Not AMD 5000 series processor inside. No, not anymore. Apple made their own processor. Apple's own chip? Yes. It is for no. real. Yes. It so is Intel's for real. gone, Apple's doing their own thing now, yeah? I see. Let me guess, let me guess. So they've they've named it A1. No, actually. Yeah, Apple, Apple One chip. A1 chip, is it? What's it called? Apple calls it the M, I didn't, uh, M1 chip. M1. Mm. Let's open it, shall we? Right after this. Artlist is an affordable way to license all the music you need for your projects. Whether it's personal, commercial, TV, podcasts, YouTube, Facebook, you get the point. You name it, it's covered. No more worrying if your music licensing covers your project. One worldwide license that covers it all. Oh, and that's not all. Artlist also includes tons of sound effects and the music is updated daily, so you never run out of choice. If you're wondering, how did I get all these nice shots of B-roll, well, it's called Artgrid, a site similar to Artlist but for video. Artgrid can provide all the stock footage you need from HD to 8K, profile formats, log or graded, to assure that it can be personalized and fitted to your current project. And Artgrid works the same as Artlist, one worldwide license that covers it all. So it's simple, choose the license that you need and that fits your budget and enjoy the unlimited downloads without any extra cost added. Get two extra months for free when you join Artgrid or Artlist through the links provided. Check out Artlist and Artgrid in the video description below. Here's another thing. Who put this title? Yes, okay, Who made this, this title? What is wrong Windows with the title? Guy. I'm not a Windows guy. I use MacBook and then I edit on Windows. Yeah, but you mainly use Windows for your work. So if you use mainly Windows, you're mainly a Windows guy. Yeah? Yeah, I know I edit on Windows, you know, and I only do docs and things on the MacBook. But that doesn't mean I'm a Windows guy. Let's get that straight, all right? Because people might be like mild in the comments and then blame me for doing that. You're fired. Let's open it. If you pull these up, then like the whole box slides up. Pull this out. That is pretty small. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's like a little lever over here. Mm, that's it. This, this tiny little thing is it. Okay, let me see what else is in here. There's a little pop. But that's it. Now what else? Thought you were gonna get a bit more. Okay. But the sticker's big. Just like one cable. We get a power cable. Embossed. Smells different. Smelled better 10 years ago. There's like another little sticker here to pull off the ports. So what do we have? Ethernet, two Thunderbolt ports, HDMI, two USB ports, and then like a fan port over here. So there is an actual fan inside. Keyboard, and then we have a mouse. Let's plug the HDMI in. Let's put a beautiful Windows cheap mouse on it. Is this like the worst insult you can do for, for Apple? Let's uh, turn it on. Um, I have this um, Mac mini connected to like a smart plug, plug that measures the power. How much power does it take? So at the moment, we are currently power of um, Five watts. Which one is the return key? How the heck do you get at symbol? How do you do an at symbol? <laughs> I 
found an apple symbol. <laughs> this is my first kind of impressions. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to see like first few things. I want to see how many watts does it pull from the socket. Um, you know, how efficient that M1 chip is. And I created a YouTube post and asked you guys and all my subscribers, you know, what would you like to see of this? And I realized that probably wasn't the best idea because everyone has so many different things that they want to see. If I cover all of these things, then, you know, the video is going to be an hour long. But what I want to do is I want to test this against like my workstation PC and see how well does it perform. I want to know if eight gigabytes is enough for the base model. So this is the base model. So there's 256 gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes of RAM and the M1 chip. And then what I want to see is like Adobe Premiere Pro. How does it work in there? Is it is it editable? Is it usable? The reason why I'm not going into Final Cut is because that is completely a different avenue. And if you want to see that, there's loads of different channels out there, like by Max Uriev or Max Tech or you know MKBHD and all of these guys who actually are Apple users and then they use Final Cut and then it's better to see from their side. But from my point of view, I'm a Windows user, right? I'm using a Windows tower over there a massive workstation and i'm using premiere pro now the question for me is is this little machine worth switching to how well does it work how are the Adobe apps that are, you know, optimized for a different processor architecture. How are they translated onto this M1 chip and how well does it work? So all of these questions come from like my side of view. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who asks these questions or has this kind of position where they at and wondering about this. So this is where we're coming from. What I want to do now is run Cinebench over here. So this is the Cinebench R23. Cinebench had to update their system because the R20 wasn't optimized. Just the M1 chip wasn't being, you know, you can't do an M1 test on the R20. So now there's a new Cinebench out there where the Apple devices can actually utilize this as well. This is what, what the system says for me. Apple processor, eight core. It says single core over here, 3.2 gigahertz and multi-core at three gigahertz estimate. So if you just look at the like specs and the, the clock speeds, then this is nothing impressive at all. If, if you know, you know, our Intel processors go past 5 gigahertz and our AMD 5000 series processors are very close to 5 gigahertz but the gigahertz actually doesn't matter what matters is IPC instructions per clock speed because this is a 5 nanometers processor it can probably do quite a lot of instructions per clock so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go multi-score and let it just run over here so that should absolutely max this out and let's have a look we are pulling 22 watts have been pulled from the socket. I know that the score should be somewhere between 7,000. System monitor, okay. And we can see that already half of the memory has been used here on this uh, Cinebench test run, which is not a very good sign. But you know, imagine if you open Adobe Premiere Pro and what is going to be the uh, usage then. But the processor has been used like 100% at the moment. Memory is 54% used, used. We have a score over here. We have a multi-core score of 7,617 points. I'm gonna start the CPU single core. While it's doing that, let's put it in perspective. We have CPU monkey here with the scores. Okay, look, actually, our score is very, very good. So I bet most of these scores on the Apple M1 chip over here are done with the laptop. But this one over here is the mini, which I reckon is a bit better cooling than on the MacBook because it's bigger. There's, you know, more room. Uh, it can be cooled down a bit better. So looking over here, we have about 100 points better score than this Apple M1 score. That is not a very good score in rendering multi-threads. So we have a Ryzen 5 2600X over here, which is 7514, which is you know a little bit lower than ours let's find something that is a bit better we have here like intel laptop speeds same like intel core i5 speeds which are exactly the same it doesn't look like that good of a speed to me like the first instance over here right these are like ryzen first series eight cores that are absolutely smashing it even on that so we're gonna do the single score as well but i bet the single core single core score single core score is going to be a bit better. Ryzen 3600X, that is a third gen processor, or Ryzen 3600 even, 
are about 2000 points better in rendering the multi multi core these are six core processors we have something over here that are 4650g now this is uh, an apu which this kind of is as well well it's a little bit different than apu because there is a memory built into this chip as well as well as the graphics card and the processor and video encoders and lots of other you know stuff it's all like in one chip whereas over here we have an amd ryzen 5 pro 4650G, which I actually have that processor over there. Benchmarks and the review coming up very soon. So it's now one of the most powerful AMD APUs, which has a processor and graphics card built in. I know it's a desktop size, but a six core, and we get a 2000 points better score. That is a lot. So while it's doing our single core test, let's have a look at Cinebench R23 single core test over here this is amd ryzen 9 5950x is the best single core test over here all right and that is 1639 that is that is pretty good and then we have some other other intel i7s this is like the 11th gen laptop processors from intel and then we have the apple m1 over here which is actually look this is my processor, 3950X, 16 core, third gen Ryzen, like test of processor, as good as it can get on third gen. And it is better. Apple one, this one is much better. 1,498. And then comes all the third gen Ryzen's, but the 5,000 series Ryzen's are a little bit better. So one thing that I definitely have realized is that Safari is extremely snappy. Okay, like if I go, <laughs> can you see how fast that is that is insane so if we go wow so we've done pc builds before we did the uh, Mac it's coming from here that's a, not a very good <laughs> speaker let's have a look apple can you believe it it's like before i press enter it's already there Look at that. It's like things, boom, there. Now I have used my laptop, uh, my MacBook Pro 2019 base model. So this is with the Intel quad core processor. And it's been quite, you know, fast, what I can say. But this is like another level of fastness, even compared to my like workstation tower, it just works so, so fast. Everything is like ex super snappy. The memory is probably struggling. Look, we're not even doing any editing, right? We are using Cinebench over here is running a little benchmark over here on single core. And then we are installing Creative Cloud on the back over here and we're using five gigabytes of memory. That is crazy. Here's what happens when you try to install like Adobe Creative apps over here. It says, I'm trying to install Premiere Pro, and it says, you are on Apple Silicon device. While we drop a new version of this app for Apple Silicon, you can use the Intel based version on your device. Continue. So basically, let's see how well does that work. Mac OS, okay. Intel 6th gen or newer CPU, and then we have eight gigabytes of RAM minimum two gigabytes of GPU VRAM. So I have no idea how much of this RAM is a GPU RAM. Maybe it's all of it. I don't know. Recommended is 16 gigabytes. Base model here, eight core GPU. Let's have a look. 200 pounds for 16 gigabytes. That's the max, can't get any more. And then now we're already at 900 pounds. We're paying extra 200 pounds for 500 gigabyte SSD storage. For 500 gigabytes, right, we're paying 135 pounds. For one terabyte, we are paying 221 pounds. Now, our kind guy, Apple here, offers us for 200 pounds only half of that storage. And I bet you this is not even as fast. Okay, our Cinebench score finished, which is 1496 let's have a look compared to the single core over here 1498 which is quite impressive actually because if you saw how many things i was doing at the same time i was installing creative clouds i was browsing the internet and it was still running this in the background with 
1500 points basically 14 and 96 we have a point over here which is which is quite impressive 800 pounds for two terabyte ssd okay corsair mp6000 series pcie n 4.0 5 gigabytes read and writes, well, 5 gigabytes read speed, a write speed of 4.2 gigabytes, and we have 300. That's almost like, what, third of the price. Okay, maybe 40% of the price. Let's have a look. Apple processor. No, that can't be right. That is gigabytes per second. No, that, that can't be right. This must be wrong. It must be reading the memory. Okay, there we go. Something a bit more decent over here. Okay, so this is not very impressive over here because we have a read and write speed about, okay, read speed 2.6 gigabytes and write speed now 1.6 gigabytes. We had the write speed 2.6 before as well. This is like even slower than on the Mac Pro. I think Mac Pro, they were advertising 3.4 gigabytes per second, which this is much less. So if this is... What we're saying over here, it's, it is fast, right? Because you can do, um, you know, 4K, 60 and anything and usage over here, 6.4 watts. That's impressive. Now, the most impressive thing about what this Apple would have for me, the first impressions is the power consumption is extremely, extremely low. It's less than like having a light bulb on in the house, which is ridiculous, all right? The maximum output or like what I could pull from this was 25 watts and that was it now about the rest of the things i'm not sure this is just the first impression stay tuned and we'll talk soon anyway if you want to see anything in the comment section below or if you have like good informative uh, things to say i would love to hear from you so please comment below and and we'll catch you soon over there thanks guys for watching and um, we'll see you soon if you want to get this apple mac i'll leave the link in the description check it out thanks for watching bye bye you are on an apical, apical. <laughs>